In this video, we will explain the different types of buttons that Flashpoint has besides sales items and modifiers. First, we're going to put in our ID, go to other functions, system, menu setup. First, the membership fee. We'll explain membership fee buttons more when we show you how to set up a golf course. Membership fee buttons are used to redeem membership fees from players when they buy a membership for a golf course. A customer redemption is used with a frequent customer. It allows you to select a redemption button based on the value of number of points that the customer has. That will be explained again later in the frequent customer section. Miscellaneous buttons are used for many different things. This one here is just going to be a miscellaneous food button. All I do is type in miscellaneous food, let's tell you whether or not it's taxable, and that would be it. When the server rings up that, that item, it'll ask them for the value of that miscellaneous food button. Other things that a miscellaneous button can be used for are scaled items, so it would get the, the amount from the scale. So you put in the price and then it would convert it depending on how much the item weighs. Um, convert dollar value to amount. That allows you to convert the dollar value of the miscellaneous button to a pound, gram, etc. So if you say it's ten dollars and it's two dollars a pound, it'll say five pounds at two dollars a pound is ten dollars. A hash key is a button that does not report on the sales with the sales, but it goes on the end of the day report because you collect the money. That would be used for bottle deposits and items like that. We can also say it's a defined price for the hash button, so it does not come up and ask the server for the amount. So if it's 10 cents, you can put 10 cents in here and say report as a hash key. You can also say price moved up to sales item, removed from check. So if the bottle deposit you want to be included in the bottle of pop, you can move the price up to the sales item and it will not, the, the customer will not see the price, but it will be included. When I'm done, I will go finished. <coughs> A certificate button is used for gift certificates. The difference between gift certificates and gift cards is gift certificates are sold and then redeemed for the full value of the gift certificate. Gift cards allow you to redeem part of the gift card and add to the gift card. All we say here is whether or not it's a certificate sell or a certificate redeem button. So if it's a certificate sell button, it'll ask the employee how much the value is of that gift certificate and then give them a number to put on the certificate. When the customer comes back to redeem it, it'll ask them for the number of the gift certificate and bring up that value and take it off the check. If I say my certificate sell button is taxable, I also have to say my redeem button is taxable. That depends on where the area you live in. A lookup button allows you to look up sales items using a search function instead of looking it up on the screen. A good use of this would be for cocktails. If I have thousands of cocktails in my system, instead of putting all my cocktails on the screen, I can put a lookup button on the screen and just look up my cocktails. So if I go add lookup button, I can say cocktail lookup is a name. Then say it's a selection by major and minor category and select my major category which would be liquor and my minor category which would be lookup cocktails. When the employee selects it, they simply type in the liquor, the cocktail they're looking for, and select it from the screen. A call button allows you to call another screen. For example, if I wanted to call my extra side screen for my dinner screen, I can put a call button on there that says extra sides and call my extra side screen. Or if my on my large pizza screen I want to go to half pizzas from that one, I can have a call button to get to my half pizzas. Tea time buttons are used for tea times. This can also be put as a main screen function on the screen 
and will be explained more when we get into the golf courses. An end button allows you to exit a screen prematurely without having to select the forest number of modifiers. An example of that would be if I have my chicken wing screen calling up my sauces and they get a choice of two sauces before it exits, I can put an end button on the screen, then the employee can ring up one type of sauce, then just exit without having to pick the second. A memo button allows you to put a memo on the last button that was rung in. So if I ring up a hamburger, then I have a special request to the kitchen, like burn it or want it raw. I can just select hamburger, then go memo, and type that in. It will then be sent to the kitchen, but will not print on the customer's receipt. Remote inventory is used for hotels when you have more than one bar or things like that. We'll get into that more when we get into the hotel section. A change size button allows you to change the size of a pizza. Again, we'll be getting into those later. Same with all the other functions. That concludes a special buttons video.